Welcome to the Florida Department of Transportation Public Information Open House for improvements to U.S. 1792 Orlando Avenue with limits from south of Nottingham Street to south of Monroe Avenue in Orange County. The financial project ID number for this project is 408429-2. Federal aid project number D518071B. The U.S. 1792 Improvements Project is located in Orange County and is primarily within the City of Winter Park limits, from south of Nottingham Street to south of Monroe Avenue. The project is nearly 2.1 miles long and includes seven signalized intersections. On the north end of the project, there are Lynx Transit bus routes and stops on U.S. 1792 that provide connections to and from the Winter Park Village Transit Center. On the south end of the project, just south of Orange Avenue, SunRail crosses U.S. 1792. Project Schedule In 2004, FDOT conducted a Project Development and Environment, or PD&E, study to evaluate U.S. 1792 from Norfolk Avenue to Monroe Avenue within the city limits of Winter Park. The purpose of the PD&E study was to develop congestion management alternatives that would improve traffic conditions along this heavily traveled corridor. In 2016, with the State Road 423 Lee Road extension under construction and the Denning Drive project under design by the City of Winter Park, FDOT updated the U.S. 1792 corridor study to ensure that the 2004 PD&E study recommendations remained valid. The findings of the Corridor Assessment Report showed that, in general, the preferred alternative is still viable for the projected 2040 conditions. Work on the design began in 2018, and a public meeting was held in early 2019. The estimated plan's completion date is in spring 2022. Right-of-way acquisition and construction are currently not funded. As part of this project, there will be corridor-wide improvements to the U.S. 1792 roadway, safety and aesthetic enhancements, pedestrian improvements, improvement at intersections, as well as median modifications. The typical sections shown here are graphic representations of the proposed U.S. 1792 roadway improvements. From south of Nottingham Street to Orange Avenue, the roadway footprint will remain the same the concrete pavement will be repaired. From Orange Avenue to Gay Road, the travel lanes will be 11 feet wide and the center left turn lane will be 12 feet wide. The bike lanes will be removed and the concrete pavement will be repaired. From Lee Road to south of Monroe Avenue, there will be two 12 foot wide northbound travel lanes and three 12 foot wide southbound travel lanes. The concrete on the northbound lanes will be repaired and the southbound lanes, which are asphalt, will be repaved. Bike traffic on U.S. 1792 will be accommodated on the newly reconstructed Denning Drive. From the south end of the project on northbound U.S. 1792 or eastbound Orange Avenue, Bicyclists could take Harmon Avenue east to the Denning Drive multi-use trail that was recently constructed by the City of Winter Park. If traveling on southbound U.S. 1792 from north of the project, bicyclists can safely cross U.S. 1792 at the Lee Road signalized intersection, take the Lee Road extension east to Webster Avenue, and on to the Denning Drive multi-use trail. From Denning Drive, bicyclists can access U.S. 1792 via side streets between Orange Avenue and Lee Road. FDOT is partnering with the City of Winter Park to enhance safety and aesthetics through decorative street lighting, enhanced crosswalks, decorative streetscape, hardscape, and landscaping. Additional coordination is ongoing, including the cost of aesthetic enhancements. Improvements to enhance pedestrian mobility and safety include upgraded pedestrian signals and crosswalks at the U.S. 1792 signalized intersections, reconstructed sidewalk curb ramps to meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards, 
and enhanced lighting, landscaping, and streetscaping improvements. Repairs to existing sidewalks and new, wider sidewalks, ranging in width from 8 to 10 feet, are proposed along U.S. 1792 from Orange Avenue to Webster Avenue. Three U.S. 1792 intersections will be completely reconstructed as part of this project, Webster Avenue, Morse Boulevard, and Fairbanks Avenue. In addition to pedestrian safety and mobility enhancements at these locations, the traffic signals will be upgraded from strain poles to mast arms. At Fairbanks Avenue, U.S. 1792 will be leveled to create a smoother ride through the intersection. Other intersection improvements include traffic signal poles upgraded from strain poles to mast arm signal poles at Webster Avenue, Morse Boulevard, and Fairbanks Avenue as part of the intersection reconstruction, and also at Orange Avenue and Minnesota Avenue. The existing mast arm signal poles at Gay Road and Lee Road will be upgraded to meet current design standards. To address traffic delays for westbound traffic on Orange Avenue and Fairbanks Avenue at U.S. 1792, new eastbound left turn lanes will be constructed to reduce backups on these cross streets. Raised medians, either paved or landscaped, separate vehicular traffic and improve safety by reducing conflict points between turning vehicles. In addition to safety benefits, medians can improve the overall aesthetics of an area. New raised medians are proposed north and south of the Sunrail Crossing at Garden Drive and Vivian Avenue to improve safety at this location. Pedestrian rail crossing gates will also be installed. When activated by an approaching train, the automatic gates are used to help prevent pedestrians from crossing the tracks. In addition, roadway pavement, sidewalks, and sidewalk curb ramps will be repaired. On U.S. 1792 north of Aragon Avenue, there is a safety issue in that northbound vehicles routinely use the center two-way left turn lane as a travel lane to bypass traffic in the northbound lanes and turn left at Fairbanks Avenue. In doing so, the vehicles are traveling at a higher speed and could conflict with other vehicles using the two-way center left turn lane and northbound vehicles entering the left turn closer to Fairbanks Avenue. This traffic movement also creates potential conflicts with pedestrians crossing U.S. 1792 at this location. To prevent this hazardous traffic movement and potential conflicts between automobiles and pedestrians in this area, the proposed design is for a raised median to be installed within the U.S. 1792 center lane just north of Aragon Avenue. The proposed median is shown on the project aerials that are on display at tonight's hearing and are posted on the project website at cflroads.com. North of Lee Road, medians will also be modified at the following locations on U.S. 1792. At Friends Avenue, the opening will remain directional, allowing left turns for southbound traffic on U.S. 1792. There will be a full median opening at Glendon Parkway, allowing left turns or U-turns for both northbound and southbound traffic. The median opening at Solana Avenue will be closed based on a traffic analysis of this intersection that indicated a median closure at this location will improve safety. Elvin Avenue will have a directional median opening, allowing left turns for northbound traffic on U.S. 1792. And due to issues relating to limited sight distance at Monroe Avenue, the median opening at that location will be closed. Many of the project enhancements presented today are access management improvements. You can learn more about access management in the department's access management brochure, which you can find online at www fdot.gov or by contacting the FDOT project manager. Right-of-way requirements. No business or residential relocations are required for this project. Additional right-of-way is needed for the new left turn lanes at Orange Avenue and Fairbanks Avenue. Small sections of land at intersection corners for Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA and signal improvements 
and easements for sidewalk and driveway construction and maintenance. If a right-of-way or an easement on your property is needed for this project, you will be contacted by the department by mail and will have the opportunity to ask questions and provide your comments. A right-of-way specialist is at the in-person public hearing to answer any questions you may have. You may also contact Elio Joseph, the FDOT project manager, after the hearing if you have questions. An important part of the design is for FDOT to develop temporary traffic control plans that minimize the impacts to stakeholders during construction. This effort involves early and ongoing coordination with community and business stakeholders. Pedestrian routes and access to businesses and residences will be maintained throughout construction. Traffic will be maintained on US 1792. Repairs to the roadway pavement that may require lane closures will be predominantly performed at night, and short-term detours may be needed while the Fairbanks Avenue, Morse Boulevard, and Webster Avenue intersections are being reconstructed. It should be noted that at this time, the project is not funded for construction. FDOT and the City of Winter Park are aware of the important role the US 1792 serves as an alternative to Interstate 4 during the I-4 Ultimate Project construction.